spent all day at the SoCal Veg Fest yesterday. I did not shoot anything there. Why? Because I'll shoot there today when I'm speaking and also it's just a uh, madness of, of madness. Exercise when I got here, exercise yesterday morning. This morning got up, um, did a pretty good, uh, about almost four mile on the treadmill. Why did I not run outside? Because the inside of this hotel's fitness room is more attractive than the outside of this hotel's fitness room. Now my job is to uh, work on my, um, my, 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 my talk and try to condense what is usually an hour talk into a 35 minute talk. That's how much the time they gave me. I'm also sitting on a panel. So I've got some work to do. Worst ironer ever. Yeah. Cool, thanks. Man. Yes. I didn't even bother with, I'm not gonna bother with Gene today because he's gotta get on the road. Uh, but you know, you guys know I love Gene Power. No, I was great seeing you. Good to see you too. Yeah, yeah. All right, take care. I see you. Done, heading back tomorrow. I may or may not have pissed off Joel Furman. Notice the similarity between traveling to do these events and speak and everything and the times when I played music and would travel tour to do shows and the, the, there was always a conflict in me as much as I wanted to do the things I also wanted to really be at home and not, not do those things. Cut to now, 15 years later, I'm traveling to do these talks and it, I love it and I'm passionate about it. But at the same time, I, I don't like leaving my family and my, you know, the inn and just being on the road. I don't, I don't particularly like it. What's interesting for me is how that translates to the work I do, which is this conflict that exists in virtually everybody I've ever worked with and myself, which is the conflict between the things that we know we want to do and then in the moment don't feel like doing. And it's, it's, I don't know if it's a conflict that ever gets resolved. I don't know if we ever fully f match up what we feel like doing with necessarily what we want to be doing at, at any given time, maybe sometimes. That's how to get through that, how to exist through that conflict. All those things that we want to do and don't feel like doing, that's kind of where I'm living now in my life and in my work and it's kind of exciting. I think it actually might be the most favorite part of my work is helping people negotiate the opposite ends of, of their lives that way and how to emerge mostly victorious. Mm -hmm. 